Well, that was amazing. You know that was made in-house. Can you believe that? Can you give it up? That was fantastic effort. And, you know, I just want to go and play Lego even more now. Even more I do. Now, I mentioned before we're going to be doing an energizer and it's going to be called the five senses game. We're going to test your memory as to whether or not you know all the senses. But firstly, I just wanted to remind you that, you know, God created us to be in relationship with him. But then how do we always know if he wants to communicate or spend time with us? Well, he actually designed us in our bodies so we could actually do that. But, you know, like a lot of things in life, we have to work out how that actually works. So what we decided was to run this game to help you understand how we can use our five senses that God gave us to help know that God wants to connect and communicate with us. How does that sound? So we're going to go through a few slides and we're going to get... I I need three things. I I need a pen, I need a folder and I need a helper. Oh, Meg! Oh, Meg. Can everyone say g'day, Meg? Ah, yeah. oh, thanks at home for saying g'day too. That's really nice. I love that. Now, we're going to go through some slides, and what we want you guys to do is think about five, four, three, two, or one of things that come up on the screen, and while you're doing that, Meg's going to write down those things that she can see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. Are you guys all ready? You ready for it? So remember, think about what it might be, and then we're going to get Meg to share her answers and see if we got some of the answers that Meg got. That sound okay? Right, so we're going to bring up our first slide. Meg, I'm going to get you to grab that. We're going to think of five things you can see. So while Meg's writing down five things that she can see, now obviously for you guys at home, you might be in your lounge room or your kitchen, and there's going to be five things that might be different but they almost, almost might be the same, even if you were with us in here today. So guys, think of five things in the room, and at home, think of five things you can see. And when Meg's finished, she's almost there. What things can you think of, Meg? Well, she's doing really well. Have you guys got your five things? What about you guys at home? You got, oh, you've got four things. So you've got to think of one more thing. One more thing. Almost there, Meg. Over halfway, doing very well. And it can always be different, can't it? Because there's so many things that we can see. Well done, Meg. You're doing a great job. One last thing, Meg. You guys got all your five? Okay, so we're going to get... Do you want to read them out for me, Meg? The five things you can see in this room. I got a clock, a human, fingers, and a stuffed dog, and shoes. So we've got a clock, humans, a people, fingers, a dog, because there's a little dog here on the ground, a little fluffy dog, and shoes. Did anyone get any of those ones? Some people did. Other people got other stuff. So there's obviously a lot of things we can see. We're going to move straight on to four things... Four things that you can feel. Hmm, this might be a little bit tougher. Four things you can feel, Meg. What do you reckon? Oh, she's got, she's got this one. You guys are thinking about it at home. You guys thinking about four things you can feel. Takes a little bit of thought, doesn't it? We've got a lot of discussion going on, which is good. It means people are thinking about what things they can feel. Meg's almost there. Doing very well, Meg. How are you guys going at home? You almost done? Almost done. Good to see. Oh, good job. Okay, Meg's got her four. Okay, Meg's got her four now. We're going to be nice and quiet so we can listen to Meg call them out. Let's go, Meg. Um, I have pencils, tops, clipboards and glasses. So she's got pencils, her top, she can feel the top, the clipboard, because she's holding the clipboard, and the glasses, because she's wearing glasses. Did you guys get any of those four? Oh. We've all got different things. This is pretty cool. Okay, we're going to move right on. These are three things. This one we might have to be a little bit quiet for. Three things you can hear. Three things you can hear. Hmm. Three things you can hear. That's okay, you've got one to go, Meg. One to go. She's almost there already. She's flying through this. How are you guys going at home? 
Finding a little bit tougher sometimes? All right, Meg's got a three things. So what are your three things that you can hear, Meg? I'm not done. Oh, she's still going, sorry. She's still going. She's doing a long one here. Ah. Oh. I reckon that one, I reckon that one sounds pretty cool. How about we go with those three? Okay. Okay, Noisy children and <laughs> Ben the Amazing. Ah, oh, so she's got two, two out of three ain't bad. Did anyone get three of them? Three things. Well, well done. Did anyone get what we said? Did anyone get me talking? Yeah. Some of you got that. Anyone get children? Yeah. yeah. All right, this one's going to look a little bit tougher. These are two things you can smell. Two things you can smell. Ooh. Meg's right onto this one. How about you guys going at home? You guys right onto this one? You probably... Oh, yep, she's almost there. There's a lot of discussion going on. This is good. Oh, done. All right. Okay, Meg's already done. So let's, let's make sure we can listen to Meg. That'll be awesome. Thanks, team. Doing a great job. Okay, Meg. So two things Meg can smell are? Candles and soap. Candles and soap. Are those two things you guys can smell? No. Oh, two things. All right. So this is the last one. You ready for it? What do you think it is? One thing you can taste. Name one thing you can taste. What is it, Meg? All right, she's writing down her one thing. Have you guys got it at home? Your one thing. All right, Meg. Okay, everyone, let's listen up nice and quietly so we can hear Meg speaking. The one thing that Meg can taste is... Lollies. Lollies. It sounds like Meg's had lollies for breakfast. Did anyone else get lollies? No? Saliva. Ah, oh, that sound. Well, can we give it up for Meg? Because she did an amazing job. Let's give it up for Meg. That's really, you know, it's really tough not only to come up on stage, but to answer all that with, with no notice as well. With no, and she had no one to help her. She just had to do it herself. You know, the amazing thing is that, did you guys find some of those were harder as you went along? Like maybe the sight, you can go, yeah, I can see all these things. But when it gets to things like feel and taste, that can be pretty tough. But you know, the thing with God is that he uses our senses, as I said before, to want to talk with us and communicate with us. And one thing might be that when you're... When you're in worship with God, you know sometimes you get the hairs on the back of your neck. You might go a little bit tingly. So that might be a way that you know that God is with you in the room. But then you might get a feeling in your tummy sometimes that says, oh, maybe I shouldn't be watching this movie. Or maybe that decision I'm about to make isn't the right one. Or it might be you hear a beautiful worship song and you go, wow, I just love that song. And that just makes me feel like God is really close to me. So remember that our bodies are designed so that God can communicate and spend time with us.